Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th, okay? Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. I have been getting a lot of requests for private readings. They say the link isn't working. Yeah, it's not because I've disabled it for a minute. I'm not uh, accepting any private readings right now, so that's why you can't book. Okay, so now anyway, keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not a reading is for you. Um, so when I say not every reading, I know I have to repeat this and I'm really sorry that I do, but I do. Not every reading is for you. You know, if this this reading may not be for you. If, if, if there's something, if there's something that really pisses you off, that's probably a trigger, or it's not for you. Okay. So anyhow, let's see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? I feel, and it's interesting because, you know, I always say that everything that is said during a reading is part of the reading. Everything that happens is part of the reading. Even the color of my shirt is part of this reading. Okay, so everything that is, that you see in here is part of this reading. So keep that in mind. Before I started this reading, I uh, was seeing the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands, it's a, I feel like somebody's at a crossroads. They're going to be making a life-changing decision. It's a big one. It is a big, big, big decision. Should I stay or should I go? I think it's, I think that, that it's like there's a new vision here. There's a new opportunity. Should I take it? Should I take it? Or should I stay put where I'm at, where it's safe? So I think that we have at least of what we have an individual that is in a in the process of and what else and I was just sitting here um, I saw the hermit as well not in the cards but anyhow the hermit is going within planning the next move I saw that as well so I think that we have somebody here that is really going within they are planning you know they're they're thinking they're thinking about their future uh, it's a big, big, big decision. The grass looks greener. It looks a lot greener over there. You know, it looks better over there, but there's unknown territory over there. Will I be successful if I go in that direction? You know, I've never been over there. It's what's over there? What's over there? What if I go over there? What if I go over there and it's a mess? What if I go over there and it's not fertile? What if I go over there and you know, I can't ever go back, you know, so I think there's a lot of fear here. There's fear of, of what if, what if, what if I do this, what if I do this. So I think that, I think that's the main energy because I feel like with somebody that's in thinking mode, they've been thinking a lot. They may be doing some soul searching, you know, and they really have this new vision now. Um, or a new desire because of that two of wands and it's like, I really want that. I really want what it looks really good. You know, it looks really good, but, but I can't really see on the other side. There's something in the way. And well, the biggest thing that's in the way is fear and not knowing, you know, fear of the unknown. And once I leave, it's goodbye to this you know, it's goodbye, it's goodbye. Or once I make this decision, and if it's not leaving, it could be just a big, huge change. You know, if I, once I do this, there's no going back. You know, it's a life-changing decision. So I think that's what we have here. Somebody may be, you know, thinking about becoming single with the hermit. Mo hermit mode or hermit card or they've been single you know they've been independent you know and well the two of wands is is two so it's about partnerships this is definitely about partnerships and about change and decision and choice World card reverse. A world card reversed is lack of completion, lack of closure, flogging a dead horse, resisting change. This journey is over, right? The chapter is over. 
but we have somebody here that is uh, staying stuck in the present. There's a need to go with the flow. There's a need to step in the new territory. There is. There's no success. There's no victory. This journey is over. This chapter is over. But we have somebody here that is resisting change. It's like, I refuse to evolve. And I think the main reason is fear. Not learning a lesson. Repeating. Repeating the same mistakes. Focusing on the past. Refusing to travel in a new direction. Somebody is stalling their own success. Flogging a dead horse, right? Four of Wands reverse. So Four of Wands reverse is trouble in paradise. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. This is a... A failure. It's like a failure to graduate or a failed marriage or a failed commitment. Whatever it was, it was big because it really big. This somebody's been on a journey or and doing something for quite a while with the world card. It it has taught them a lesson, but they're it's like I'm not they haven't quite learned it yet. It's not quite over yet because of the refusal to Accept that it's over now. The lesson has been learned. I learned what I needed to learn from this. It's time to step into the new existence. You know, this is not happy. This is uh, wanting to move on. It's like we have somebody here that wants to move on. <coughs> the party is over. The honeymoon is over. The home, it's not a happy home. It's not a good commitment. It is trouble. It's trouble in paradise. It's like this isn't this isn't what I expected. I expected more. I expected I expected more happiness. I expected more more success out of this. The celebration's over, the party's over, the honeymoon is over. This is a trouble in paradise. It is. It may have something to do with a home. What well, obviously does have something to do with a home. Or a commitment. Definitely unhappy. Five of Pentacles reversed. So we have somebody here that is struggling. It's big. This is like total ruin. Financial ruin, financial loss. But I feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel. If somebody can ask for help or make a move in a new direction, this could be a turning point. I feel like we have an unhealthy relationship here where there's abandonment, there's neglect, there's somebody was led down the wrong path, you know, but they went, they went, they went down that path because they probably didn't want to be alone. And now it's like they're stuck because you have to, one of our life lessons is strength, you know? It is. Inner strength. So somebody needs to find their mental strength. And, and the world card is all about all the lessons. It's all the majors in that one card. So one of our lessons is strength. So somebody needs to find their courage. They need to find their discipline. They need to find their willpower to remove themselves from a situation where they're not getting taken care of, you know, or they're not taking care of themselves or whatever the case is. I feel like we have somebody here that's made a poor decision because they didn't want to be alone. They may have been a victim, you know, and they used their victim mentality and got themselves into a situation that, you know, because they didn't have the strength at the time. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the strength card because I keep on want to say, want to say strength. Let me get another card for that five of pentacles. Whoo. Just 
Two of Swords reversed. That's coming out of denial. We have somebody here that's been blocking the truth. They've been torn in two different directions. They may be seeing the truth, making a decision. We may have a turning point here. I feel like we do. The world is a turning point as well because the world spins, but there's been a delay. A delay in happiness because somebody's been in a victim consciousness. They've allowed themselves to be led in the wrong direction. Mentally, probably. Even by their own thoughts. Somebody's been in a state of mental turmoil because this is a very difficult choice. It may cost them. You know, may cost them some money. Could even be some, like, financial, big financial loss. Could even be a disgrace. There could be embarrassment, public embarrassment even with the world card because that's like, that could be like some sort of recognition. This is embarrassing. It's embarrassing that this commitment didn't work out or that this, you know, it looked so good at the beginning. You know, it's embarrassing. So making a choice to go in another direction. What if, what if I make another stupid choice again? So anyway, two of swords, two of swords reversed. That is coming out of denial there's there's an there's seeing the truth beginning to see the truth so i feel like somebody's beginning to see the truth and maybe making a choice there's definitely been a delay we have somebody here that's been really feels like we have victim mentality here as well choosing to be a victim of of their circumstances Choosing not to go in that new direction, extreme fear. Eight of Swords, whoa. There's your extreme fear. This is mental turmoil. This is held back by fear. There's, there's, we, we have somebody here that is confined, right? They're confined. They're tied to a situation. But their feet aren't tied. They can walk away. Their mouth, you know, they can speak up. They can ask for help. They can scream. They can holler. They can, we got somebody here that has chosen. This is victim mentality. They have. They have chosen. They have chosen to stay in a situation that they can walk away from. But it's going to need, it's going to take, you know, we got a blindfold on twice. Twice. Somebody needs to open their eyes. They need to open their eyes. They need to accept the truth. They need to obviously break free from a situation that feels safe and I feel like there's a lot of mental turmoil here we got somebody here that's struggling they're struggling they're struggling with change they're struggling with stepping into unknown territory there's a lot of fear of the unknown we also have somebody here that this is like overwhelming it feels like we have we have information overload here. It's like this is too much. It's too much. Doing a lot of thinking. There's like a, I feel like, I feel like we have a reevaluation going on of the current, I don't know if it's the current living circumstances or the current work situation or the current partnership. There's a, there's a true reevaluation going on. And I feel like we have somebody here that is beginning to see the truth. I feel like there's also, there's been some lies. And I don't know if lies have been exposed and, you know, or they're about to be exposed. Or somebody's going to be start speaking the truth. But there's so much fear. Fear of the unknown. It's big. It's huge. Hmm. We also we also have somebody here that is focusing on the past. I just had the three of wands in the ver in the reversed on the bottom. They're focusing on the past. You know, they they may have left or they did something. You know, they they were optimistic in the beginning and it's failed success. You know, they may have they went someplace and it failed or there's fear of failure. That's what it is. 
it's either something, well, if you failed in the past, then there's fear that it's going to happen again, right? We have mental turmoil here, abandonment, neglect. This is a disgrace, it's an embarrassment. Somebody's embarrassed. They made a mistake and they don't wanna own up to the truth that they made a mistake. Maybe it's, it's fear of what everybody's gonna say, social pressure. This is coming out of denial, though. It is with the Two of Swords reversed. We may have a turning point here. I'm not sure quite yet, but that Five of Pentacles reversed. It feels like we may have somebody here that may... It's like they're starting to see the light. They're starting to see the truth. You know, this is a trap. I'm trapped. I need to break free. It's like i got to break free. I have to. There's no success here. I feel like this is like failed success, right? There's also some discord. I don't know. I feel like there's there's it's either marital discord or family discord or something like that with the four of wands reversed. Feels like prison. Two of pentacles reversed. There's financial issues. Uh upheaval, chaos, no contingency plan, not enough money, uh, maybe staying just for the money. We got somebody here that is overwhelmed. They got It's like they're, they're very overwhelmed and they're going back and forth with making this choice, making this change, making this decision. It has to do with a partnership. They have two options. I knew they did. And they're struggling. And I think there's big financial struggle, struggle as well. It's a mess. This is a very messy situation. Somebody is tied, they may be tied to, the, to it because of financial reasons, mainly. Also fear. There's chaos here, no contingency plan. I wasn't, I thought this was gonna be successful. Definitely short-lived success. Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is dissatisfied, uh, unrealistic. This is a dead end. I invested all this time and all this money into something, and now it's over. And now it's over. And now I gotta replant someplace else. I gotta go someplace else. This is. It does feel like it's a disgrace. It's embarrassing. There could definitely be a relocation. Somebody is thinking a lot about going someplace else. They, and I feel like they, they know that it's not fertile here anymore. It's not fertile and it's really, you know, time to go. I mean, that Seven of Pentacles is a dead end. It's like, it's time to plant those seeds someplace else. Even if it means that It's a complete restart. This is a complete restart. And the help, it's like maybe somebody needs to ask for help and so there's ego here. You know, you gotta let go of your ego and because fear is ego based, you gotta step outside of your fear. There's somebody here that's extremely overwhelmed, financially overwhelmed in their commitment. There's no love in these cards, none. Not even any, none, none at all. So somebody is trapped in a loveless situation that they don't love. They made a commitment to it. They're trapped in it. Fear is holding them back. They know that they, because of the Two of Swords reverse, it's like they see very clearly, but breaking free from this situation is going to be work because it's going to require starting over. It's going to require, you know, Planting new seeds someplace else, okay? Relocation or 
maybe even losing money. There's financial loss here as well. You know, losing the investment. Yeah, you invested, you made a poor choice. Lesson learned, right? Chalk it up to a lesson learned. And it's, the world card is about a lesson learned, okay? Now that you've learned your lesson, you're gonna nurture the next one a lot more, right? You're gonna take better care of it, right? You're gonna be more committed to the next one, right? You're gonna be more open. You're not gonna block your feelings. You're not gonna block your emotions with the next one. You're gonna be more open, right? And you're gonna go into it with your eyes open, not your eyes closed. Be positive. This one's over. It's a dead end. It's time to go. Stop wasting your time. It's a big decision. Even if you lose the investment, you will gain freedom. You'll gain freedom and you and you will have learned, okay? You have learned you learned from that whole experience. So, I do believe that we have somebody here that I feel like we have a sad farewell. I do. For a wands reversed and the world card reverse it's like somebody could be leaving without you know goodbye there's just no, or they may say goodbye i mean they may oh just like on the bottom they could be leaving without saying goodbye ten of swords this is the end it's the death of a situation this is goodbye this is goodbye this is giving up the end There's no growth, there's no success. There's chaos, there's another option. Somebody's been juggling. They've been over committed to something that really isn't committed to them. I feel like there's, there's so much fear and worry and stress and uh, it's, this is just too much. I also feel like we have somebody here that is really playing it safe to a point where it's gotten to the point where I can't do it anymore. It's, ex it's exhausting. It's really time to step outside of that comfort zone with the Eight of Swords. So I do feel like we have somebody that's about to because this is a complete dead end with the Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is a dead end. Ain't it though? So this is the end. This is definitely, a, this is the death of a situation. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let me get one more. Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles about working together, teamwork, compromising, uh, working with new people. Make the choice. This is making a definite decision to work with somebody else. Okay? Maybe to start over. It comes after the, you know, going back and forth with the choice. Now the definite decision has been made. I feel like we have somebody here that is. going to be working with somebody else. That's what I think. It's almost like coming up with a plan and working together with somebody else where they'll be appreciated. Where they can use their skills. Where they're needed. 
I feel like we have somebody here that has been procrastinating. They've been stay, playing it safe, but I feel like there's a decision that is being made. to work with somebody else where they can be appreciated, where they will be appreciated, where they can use their skills, where they're needed, okay? Where they're needed. Somebody is going to be working with somebody else. Mm, yes. Yes, this is a new opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. This is a new investment. That's a new door opening. This is a gift. Receiving a gift, receiving a solid, stable offer, going, taking it. So yes, somebody is taking a new opportunity. They're getting, they have a new opportunity. This is a new investment, right? This is a gift. Somebody is going to be receiving a gift. This is a new business, a new job, financial stability, financial security. This is a, a yes answer. So somebody, this is a, somebody is receiving a, a golden opportunity. They have received a goal. Or they're, either they're receiving it, they have received it, or it's coming. This is an opportunity. It's a new beginning. Okay, aces are new beginnings. It's a fresh start. It, okay, somebody is receiving a golden opportunity that leads to abundance. This is something real. It's something solid. It's something stable. This is also a reality. It's a, something real. It's something real. This is also a manifestation. Somebody has manifested something real, something solid, something stable. It's right here. It's in the palm of your hand. So I do believe we have, and this is a new doorway. I feel like we have somebody here that is going through a new doorway. That leads to stability. This is long term. It's huge. So somebody is, is going to be receiving a, a golden opportunity. They haven't received. I think they have. I think they've already received the opportunity. But they haven't taken it because of the fear. There's so much fear of the unknown. But this is a yes answer. It is. So there's a yes here. This is definitely a messy situation. I feel like we have somebody here that's made their decision. They've made their decision, or they're about to. They're about to, to go down a new path. Good luck.